Thanks to Storyblocks for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the first episode of Behind the Scenes. Actually, we have received ton of comments people asking me how I make my videos. After that, this is what I have decided to make. It is a new series where I'll be showing you how I make my videos. If this video got great response from you, then definitely I will continue it and bring more behind the scenes videos. So let's get started. Welcome back. We'll be taking this shot and turning it into this all inside of After Effects. But first off, I would like to thank Storyblocks video for sponsoring this video. Videoblocks is a massive stock video library with more than 2 million stock videos, After Effects templates and motion background. They have a bunch of different categories which have thousands of clips each. So if you are a filmmaker or a YouTuber with a tiny budget but you want to push your work to the next level, using high quality stock footage can really give it that professional touch. You could download all the clips you want from their member library including HD and 4K footage and also After Effects templates which you could use for creating some cool title animations and text graphics. They have additional marketplace clips on which you can get exclusive discounts where you can save on every purchase. All content is royalty free so you can use it for commercial use and the library is always growing so there's always something fresh to download. So use this link in the description storyblogs.com slash to learn more about Storyblogs video. Go ahead and get some footage from their library and make your films better. So here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and we will create the new composition first. We will name this composition Superman. For the duration, I will type here 5 seconds for the video and click OK. And now we will import the footage that we just downloaded from Storyblock. So here's the footage and trim this right here. By the way, I am trimming this with the shortcut keys with Alt and bracket close key. Now we will apply camera tracker here the 3D camera tracker now it will take some time analyzing the video depending on the speed of your system now here you can see some points so you have to select some points just to make it settle right click and select create solid and camera after creating solid and camera you will see this solid we will uncheck this because we don't need this and now we will import the footage of the superman that we have shooted you have to shoot this video on a tripod with a green screen to key this out and replace the background with the sky layer. So I will trim it with the alt and open bracket key and just use the part we need. For snapping you can use the shift key to snap just to be precise. Now just mask out the area you want to be in the shot just to avoid the unnecessary things. And now we will apply key light effect on this layer. Now in the screen color, use the color picker tool and select the color of your key. In my case, I was using the green and you have to just tweak some settings just to make it look perfect. Go to screen mate and also tweak some options here. And blacks are the area which is going to be cut out and white is the area which is going to be used. So if we go to final results, this is what we got. Now we will rotate this just to match the scene for flipping there are so many ways but I am using this just uncheck this constraint proportions just put the minus sign over here just to flip it like this if you want to shape it more precisely just go to the puppet pin tool and add some points here like on the foot here now just move these points as he was actually flying there Just change some settings just to make it look more professional like he was actually flying there. So here is the before, here is the after. Now for this part we will track this with the background layer just by turning the 3D layer. Now you need to just copy the transform settings of the track solid. Just press P and copy and paste on this layer like this. Now scale it down. this looks fine it is moving with the sky 
select this clip and move it away from the frame. Now just add a position keyframe of this layer. After few seconds, move its position from here to the other side of the scene. Click on the motion blur switch and also enable the motion blur for all layers. So right now it will look like this. Just move the keyframes according to what you like and also color grade the footage just to match the background and foreground. So select this layer and search for curves. We will add some brightness and reduce some contrast. And in the red channel, we will add some reds just to match the backgrounds a little bit, just a touch. So this is the before and this is the after. You can also add the light at the bottom layer and apply the optical flare effect from video copilot. I think this is the best for our scene and toggle the switches mode and turn the blending mode to add or screen. So just go to the first keyframe and add the position keyframe of optical flare and make it right here. And for the last move the optical flare to here. Now tweak some points right over here. So after some color grading this is the final shot. Now let's move to the second one. So here is the second shot. You need to use a tripod for this just to make it stable and use a chroma key to cut out the background and we will trim the comb to the work area. We will apply the same steps that we applied earlier. Again we have to mask and we will again use the key light effect to remove the green screen. Now go to screen mate and tweak some settings. For this scene we will use the sky image and animate the background according to the shot. Here is the cloud image. So if you want to move the sky, just rescale it. If the actor is moving to the right, then the clouds will move to the left and vice versa. Now add a keyframe right here and press shift and page down to move 10 keyframes forward. Just reposition this like this. We will loop this clip for the rest of the scene. Now we will pre-compose this, move all attributes into the new composition and right click on this cloud layer and go to time and enable time remapping. Hold the alt and option key and click on the stopwatch and go to this button and go to properties and select loop out. So clouds will look like this, like it is moving. So for the motion blur, double click on the composition and toggle this motion blur switch and also enable motion blur for all layers and go back to the main composition and this is how it looks like as it is moving seamlessly we just turned an image into an animated moving clouds we will increase the size of this layer just to match the perspective and rotate it at last we will add camera shake effect just select all the layers and pre-compose and type in final Move all attributes into the new composition, select this one and click OK. Press P and hold Alt and Option and click on the stopwatch and type in wiggle, open bracket, 50, 10. So 50 describes the amount of time it will move and the 10 describes how much it will shake. So it is like this right now. So for the edges, there are two options. You can scale it up just to make it more professional or you can use a motion tile effect. Just type in motion tile and click on mirror edges and increase the value of output width and output height of motion tile. So now it is more realistic. Also don't forget to check this uh, motion blur switch and for the all layers. So after color grading this scene and after all, this is what it looks like. So that's all for this video i hope you learned something new from this video and if you did then leave a like and comment below what should we do next and also consider subscribing if this video got great response from you then definitely i will bring more videos like this after all your wish is my command as long as your wish is to make videos goodbye